Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best pry bar and crowbar, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Titan Pry Bar. Titan's stainless steel pry bar set comes with three bars with scraper ends. The sharp, angled ends are meant for scraping paint, caulk, glue, and other hardened materials. Even though both ends are solid with no slits or cuts, there is still a nail puller built into the neck of the pry bar. There are two and four piece sets as well for equipping a larger project. The thin ends come in handy quite often when removing moldings, explained a professional finish, trim carpenter who works on high-end custom homes. The thin ends allow me to remove boards while causing less damage to the molding and whatever it's attached to. Moving on at number 4, we have the Crescent Pry Bar. Even at just 7 inches long, this pint-size pry bar from Crescent is still powerful enough to rip up nails, trim, and carpet. This has two nail slots in the neck and head and its thin ends are great for sliding into tight spaces. There are a handful of other sizes to choose from, too, if something larger is in order. I have had this little workhorse for many years, wrote one reviewer who was trying to find the same one for their son. I searched online and found this beauty at an incredible price. It will be in his roll bag for the rest of his life. This is a must-have tool for a carpenter and will last a lifetime. At number 3, we have the REXBETI Pry Bar Set. These may not strike the onlooker as the most conventional type of crowbars, but the handles on REXBETI's pry bars make them a staple for any toolbox. Coming in four different lengths and resembling a curved flathead screwdriver, these pry bars can be comfortably gripped and dug into hard-to-reach places, giving the user more force and control. I have been able to utilize these pry bars putting in my vinyl plank flooring, and, these worked excellent while changing the brakes on my car, wrote a reviewer. These are very versatile, from one extreme to another, and handle both extremely well. At number 2, we have the Craftsman 42-inch pry bar. Hefty leverage and a long reach require a crowbar with length, and Craftsman's 42-inch pry bar is a worthy choice. What makes it such a highly rated demolition tool? Its thick metal body, which works well under strong pressure that would normally cause other crowbars to break. It also has beveled ends with sturdy slots for pulling up nails. Between this and a nice sledge, I brought down a pretty large brick fireplace and chimney, explained one reviewer. This belongs in every tool shed. You just never know when you're going to need some serious leverage, and this works. And finally at number 1, we have the Trade Underlay Pry Bar. Once you're squared away with a strong and long crowbar, it's worth looking into a pocket-size pry bar, too. Trade Underlay's mini crowbar is 11 inches long, making it a great compact option for smaller tasks. It's perfect for getting up close and personal with trim and molding that's been tightly installed and it won't take up much space in your toolbox or when it's toted around. Reviewers have found it useful for everything from laying laminate flooring to popping out CV axles. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.